Hey friends, it's Taylor and today I'm going to be doing the time of day book tag. So I found this tag on the channel 2 vloggers more and it looked really fun and I thought I would do it today. So the first thing is the time you wake up. So a book that opened your eyes to a genre that you previously didn't read. For me, that is The Forever Watch by David Ramirez. It's a very good book. It's sci-fi and it's really the first sci-fi book I ever read and I really enjoyed it. It makes me want to read a lot more sci-fi. It had awesome messaging, awesome writing, super descriptive, and it makes me, like I said, just want to pick up a whole bunch more sci-fi books. So second question, or second time, is no time for breakfast, and the question is a book that's been just sitting on your shelf for a while. For me, that is The Help by Katherine Stockett. I'll go with that. I picked this up at a thrift store a few summers ago for, like, real cheap, and I just haven't gone around to reading it. I really like the movie, though, so... I don't know why I'm not reading it, but maybe I'll get to it one day. For now, it just sits on my shelf. <laughs> Alright, so then it's time to travel to work. And this question is a book you've read whilst traveling. And the last time I traveled, I went to New York and I read Wander by R.J. Pelasco. And as you can see, it's only the dust jacket. The actual book is back in my other home. And I really, really like this book. It was super good, super interesting, really fun, awesome messaging. Um, but yeah, I read this while I was traveling last. So then we're up to the fourth time of the day, which is a hard time to get through work. I feel this one. I hate work. Um, and so the question for that is a book you struggled to get through. For me, that was Lord of the Flies. I don't even know who wrote Lord of the Flies. I don't know. I had to read it for school. It was a struggle. Um, yeah, I did not enjoy that book at all, mostly because I think I was forced to read it, but yeah, it's a real struggle to get through Lord of the Flies. Alright, so then next up we have lunchtime, and the book for that is a quick and easy read. And that for me is We Should All Be Feminists. I have no idea how to pronounce her name, so I'm just going to show you. I read this actually on International Women's Day, it took me like half an hour. Super easy book, and super amazing. Everyone should definitely pick this one up. Moving on, time for a performance review. So this one is a book that you bought because of a review that you saw. And for me, that is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I love a clockwork, The Clockwork Reader on Booktube, and this is her favorite, favorite book. And so I just had to pick it up because had on a Clockwork Reader recommended it, and I felt the need to also read it. Then it's time to travel home, and this one is a book that follows character on a journey. Now, I thought about this one a little hard, like, physical journey, like Lord of the Rings, but then I realized there's so many different kinds of journeys, and technically every character is going through a journey. And so I picked Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agendas by Beck P. Albertini. I really enjoyed this book, it's definitely one of my top books I've read so far this year, and Simon is going through a really amazing journey and a really difficult journey in this book, so I, I thought this worked. Next, we're moving on to dinner time and conversation, and then this book is one that no one talks about but you absolutely love. And for me, that is my all-time favorite book, Annie on My Mind by Nancy Garden. This is the most amazing book I've ever read in my life. I plan on reading it so many times, and yes, I've never heard anyone talk about this book, but it is absolutely amazing and I think everyone should be reading this. Next, we're moving on to time to zone out to in front of the TV. And this would be your favorite book that was turned into a movie or a TV series. And for me, that was Nancy Drew. Both the TV series, multiple TV series, as well as the movie. I like all things Nancy Drew, even Heidi Voice. Then we're moving on to bedtime. And that is the books that are currently on your nightstand. Technically, it says book, but I have books. So on my nightstand right now, I have City of Ashes, Station Eleven, and it's kind of a funny story, so many books on the go right now. So last but not least, we're up to night time, and that is the book you stayed up really late for reading. And for me, that is Midnight Sun. I currently read this book a few days ago. I read it in 24 hours, actually less, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I was like, I need to finish this book, and so I did, but it was pretty good. So that was the time of day book take. I hope you enjoy it, and I'd love to see what you think of it. Bye!